Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Strategic Command World War One, episode number 8. Let's jump right into the replay and see what Agrippa has in store for us this time. I have just released the episode where we had the video cut off, which I'm still apologetic about. Ooh, so he, he took a hit on his airship. He is shifting forces forward. He's going to attack the French as we expected. The weaker unit. Okay, that was a 1-2. Okay, looks like he's gonna move in. Uh, two one, his favor. Zero zero, pretty unusual. We have a two one, and he has reinforced the Serbian front. And he went o one there. O o. O two. The Belgrade unit has held fantastically well. They did move forward here, which was un exactly what I didn't want, but he wasn't able to get into the town, as I expected. Actually, he would have... Oof! That was a 4-1. <laughs> Pretty brutal. And he still has a battle cruiser hanging around. That went pretty well for us. 4-3. Uh, Interesting. A 1-1 one, one for the their seaplane tender. And a 1-0 against the submarine. 2-2 two, two with my battleship, which I'd really like to get out of there. 0-1 uh, against their destroyer. 2-2 two, two against their light cruiser. And I'm sure they'll move someone else in, a submarine to finish me off. Seems pretty, uh, yeah, pretty fitting. So we obviously don't want to be losing ships because of the national morale stuff. Oh, this is hard to see. Two, two. Actually, that's quite good. Okay, then a one, zero. They might try to push this. I wouldn't recommend it if I were him, but he's going for it. One, one. That's actually a really good thing for a detachment. Okay, his summary went off to the northwest. Got a 0-0 zero, zero there, a 1-2, this is good news for us. And he pulled out of Lemberg. 2-1, uh, 1, 1. Ah, he moved back into Lemberg, but he actually went 0-1, which is good news for us. 2-2, two, two. 1, 1-0, well, that's actually quite good against for them, their Marines unit, it's quite good. Two, zero for the submarine. Not sure how this submarine has any supply left to be doing attacking. And what the heck was that going on in some area? Was that... Okay, so we lost the pre-dreadnought. We lost the armored cruiser. Population of Austria-Hungary are outraged at the loss of Trento Trieste. He... Holy cow. In order to keep Italy out of the war, he gave in. That's amazing. Agrippa, holy cow. Holy cow. So the Romanians are encouraged by this. Austria-Hungary is in bad shape. Armenia, I, I'm going to have to go back and look at that whole list because that, that was, I think, really important. Um, a seaplane carrier, which is really important right now, and a destroyer, which is... These are exactly what I was hoping to get. Uh, Russia gets a Dreadnought. Well, pfft, wish we, wish we had that at one turn ago. I think what we're going to do is just push over... They're in red mode, so I think we can just go right over them. It was nice blockading the Swedish while we could. Um, but now it's time to... Now it's time to say goodbye to all our family. Um, the snow, it's now Christmas, past Christmas. It's January 2nd. So we did not win the war by Christmas, sadly, but... Yeah, and the snow is going to make everything a lot more difficult as well. Though, one to two, no, probably we don't want to do that. Look at these guys. They're down to 10% morale. Is this true for the Austro-Hungarians throughout the border? Oh my god. So, snowing or not, we're going to have to mount a very, very intense offensive. Now, what does this mean? So, it looks like this is still Austro-Hungarian here, Innsbruck. They give up Bruneck and Trento. They gave up Trieste. 
So they still hold on to Pola. That's very interesting. So did we end up ever investing points into Italy? We did not. At this point, I'm not sure it's worthwhile. It'll be harder to bring them into the war. This is still, I mean, I was like, what the hell is the border expansion? It was Italy. He gave in. It's crazy. It's just really crazy. Kind of has blown my mind. Uh, nothing happened also down here in the uh, Mediterranean, which I feel like is lucky for us. Which means that this unit is going to be able to attack. Wow. So we're going to be able to eliminate this unit and then propagate supply. Here's the wonderful thing. Anzac has arrived here. Um, and this unit probably cannot be reinforced anyway, no. So we might as well just keep driving him forward. Take Amara, I guess. I really wish we had landed any other troops here. Um, it's pretty nerve-wracking that we have not done anything. I mean, I want to keep pushing, right? But at the same time, I don't want to lose Basra. In the Caucasus, I think we'll move into Ardahan. That was the exposed city. And it looks like we'll be able to actually counterattack. I mean, this is the Ottomans... Did the Ottomans have a morale suffer? I mean, the Austro-Hungarians are down 51%, 90%. What are the Russians at? Okay, they're at 89%. That was, you know, we did lose some ships there, so that's what I was a little worried about. Germans are sitting at 95%. We, we don't expect that we'll wear their morale out. Not, not very quickly, at least. But all of our units, all of our people are at 95% plus, with the exception of Russia at 89%. Ottomans are at 90, so we do want to inflict some blows on them if, if at all possible. And I think it could happen around Jerusalem. We haven't really seen what Agrippa is going to be doing with the Ottomans. So far, nothing. But I doubt that's going to remain the case. And just one final look at Belgium. I mean, sorry, Belgium. Bulgaria, 51%. Yeah, Romania is up to 59% now, so we probably could encourage her to join the war very quickly. I think that one other thing I'd like to do... Sorry, hopefully this isn't taking too much time to do stuff, but I'd like to see what he's invested in recently in diplomacy and research. We've actually pinned him. This is, okay, so this is, I think, the, oh, interesting. The Ottomans did invest in diplomacy, 100 points even. What would have been 100 points? Would that be in Bulgaria or Romania? I don't know. It might have been Bulgaria. Nonetheless, we've kept Germany and Austria-Hungary from doing research. Um, I think mainly because we've inflicted enough casualties that they actually have to tend to their reinforcements. So the greater picture now, we've lost three dreadnoughts, three arm so four pre-dreadnoughts and three armored cruisers. They've lost four pre-dreadnoughts, two armored cruisers, a battle cruiser, and four dreadnoughts. They've also lost a light cruiser, four destroyers, and one submarine. So I think we're still ahead. With, well, I would say substantially ahead in the naval battle. But we're going to have to tend to things in the, in the Baltic. Okay, Brussels has an opportunity to attack from an undefended point. I think he did reverse his... Um, I think that was the unit that didn't have his uh, fortifications facing the correct way last turn. And now he does. But I still think we're going to be able to eliminate this unit, which is sitting on six supply, so it won't be completely eliminated. But now the point is, yeah, put pressure on the Germans in the western front. This might be the time, for example, that we cross this river. Maybe we start bordering this mine, uh, reducing German production points. So, I mean, I have this... In the back of my mind, I have this little bit of security. I feel like the war has gone well for us so far. That doesn't want to. That doesn't mean I want to take my foot off the pedal. So, what's the bigger plan then? I think we continue to pressure. We look for their submarines. Okay, that, that submarine. We'll just target it. I'm going to bring my destroyers at two and three back. They've done their job. We have new destroyers. A group of three. I have to look back on the replay. Did we see where this enemy submarine went? It did something, and we have one submarine ourselves who, if nothing else, can be used to search for their submarine. And then we have a few ships which would be a little bit dangerous to put on the blockade because they're so weak, but 
hey, if we put them all the way over here, no harm, no foul, right? <laughs> Just leave them there indefinitely? Probably. I'm imagining that's what we'll do. So it looks like the Swedish have cut off this. I don't understand what happened here exactly, but the Swedish are not delivering supply to the Germans anymore. The grayed out seems to indicate that. Yeah, let's just save the, the ships, draw them to us. Okay, so let me do this one first. What the, f what the, what the heck happened? It took 15 movement points for us to do nothing. Okay, we got that hit, that's nice. Did not take a hit ourselves. We can go up to this port, good. Let's see what happens, can we get this guy over here? No. So he's gonna have a hard time getting out of there now. Yeah, you know, it's just impossible. That light cruiser, we're gonna have to ride him off. I hey, I don't wanna do that, but And I really wish we had been able to choose our battle. That would have been a battle I would have chosen anyway against a destroyer. To get actually get some damage. So yeah, this was uh This has been a a rough go of it. Guess we'll just put this guy into port. And let's let's actually deploy our whoops, not purchase. Let's deploy this guy. Where do we want him? Okay, can only be there. I'm gonna put him there. I don't I think it's gonna be fine for him to have a little bit more. Oh, we have more units. Okay, we also have a core, a weak core. Which probably can only be deployed in yeah. Can it be can it be deployed here? No. Nope, only in England. But again, we might want to build up enough units for some kind of amphibious invasion. I think we could do it. I, I highly, highly, highly doubt he's in, uh, defending any of the this area. So we could actually get those and start building up supply. It's kind of, it's crazy, but we do have at least one Marine. And you know what? I just, I really feel like Agrippa will not expect that. I won't deploy this yet because I feel like probably during this turn, this cavalry is going to... Um, probably this turn, the cavalry is going to ship off, head towards... Wait, I mean, we sent one, right? Did we send one off? Oh, was it over here? Oh, this guy's... This cavalry is going to send off. So maybe that cavalry in the north actually stays and engages in our amphibious invasion of Wilhelmshaven. Okay, so I'll need to think about what to do in the Mediterranean. I think we can just do this outright. Shattered. He was on, only down to one hit point, so it didn't go well for him. <laughs> and then let's just get this guy as far forward as possible. So this will be six, five, four. I think this will be a 654, so this guy at least will have supply of four. Or we can get into El Arish. I think we'll do that. And then just entrench there. Yeah, this makes sense to me. I don't think that they're gonna push through. We'll see what happens to Neckel next turn, so. There we have it, there's the... I, I would like to hold on the El Arish Neckel line. That's where, I mean, that's where as the Ottomans, I was holding against that line. And it obviously will be okay if we pull back to the Suez Canal, but I'd like not to do that. I'd like to hold as far east as we can and just force the Ottomans to pay attention to the to the situation in Egypt. We still have this um, detachment. I think I did reinforce it off camera. It's still at seven, and we would like it to be a little bit higher. So let's see. Well, I'm not going to do any reinforcement of stuff right now, but we'll think about doing that. Okay, so I think I've wandered and rambled on long enough. We'll put a cut in here, and then I'll figure out what else we need to do. I don't know. This is It's kind of a tough situation. 
because of the snow, we want to do a lot of attacks that we won't be able to do. There's always It's always a tough situation, right? <laughs> but this time, the reason, the excuse I'm giving is because of the snow. It's going to sap our offensive capability. I think that, yeah, even our, our aircraft can't even go three hexes. So that's going to be very limiting. Hopefully that snow just at least continues for Agrippa's turn. Otherwise, I will cry foul and... No, it's fine. I mean, you can't... You know. I, I guess it does make sense that the same weather should be present for both people's turns, though, um, in the sense that technically I'm not actually acting two weeks later. In real life, obviously, both armies would be engaging in a WeGo system. We'd be using the same weather. So I might even make a complaint about that to the developers, that the game as it is, um, considering it's rotating turns... The weather should be the same for both in order for it to be fair. Otherwise, you can have, like, the French only ever attack in the snow and the Germans always attack in the sun if it just rolled the dice that way, which would not make any sense. So, okay, but until... I'll, I'll just come back when I thought about things. Okay, so it's a whole other day now, but I've done a little bit of reviewing of what I want to do, at least two theaters. <clears throat> There was um, my initial way of dealing with this caucus mess is to move this unit here, attack the 10. Um, but I actually have a different idea. I think I'm going to try to retake cars. So we have a 0 1, we have a 0 2, and this guy can actually get it over there. That is what I will try to do. Okay. So far, so good. This unit will move forward. Let's just move this unit here for now. Move him here. Okay. Well, we didn't expect to take the casualty there, but that's okay. I'm, I'll, I'll allow it. I think we just move this unit back here. Okay. Let me see. One, one, two, three, four. Okay. So if this unit wants to move, it can only do. It can move one, two, three, here. And then it'll only take one to move in. So I do need to exert zone of control somehow to protect Aravin. It would be very, very bad if I lost that. <clears throat> now all I need to do is exert zone of control um, on the city itself. So even this will be sufficient. I almost feel like I might as well just move in. We definitely need some detachments down here. This is probably where I, I, I think I'm going to... Can I purchase detachments for cheap? Yeah, we have one. The Kutno detachment, it's its really needed right here because we have four nice cores. Um, basically, the idea is to overrun cars. If they want to take Anahan, that's fine. I want to take whatever's in cars. Now, having this go this way does give me second thought. I was going to attack heavily against this unit and see if I could push to Trabzon. I know from my own experience, at least, that the Ottomans had a lot of units um, quite a lot of units. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I just realized that my mic was, uh, way over amped. Uh, I have a real problem with this. It's, uh, it's something I don't understand about Windows that, um, devices are allowed to take, are not allowed, I should say. They are not allowed to take over your Windows sound volume. And, like, if you set your Windows sound to 20%, 30%. Another game is not allowed to come and just set that to 100%. That would be bad. But they are allowed to, for some reason, take over your volume control for your mic. <laughs> Which I just don't like. I just don't understand. So anyways, I, I was trying to say that originally I was planning to attack this thing, push, but, but whatever, whatever. But now I think it's not worth it. I think we'll go ahead and just put this unit in here. Um, I still will do this attack. Which ended up being a nothing attack. A zero, 0 Well, their morale is so low, I'm going to go with it. I didn't do anything. Um, and we'll get this unit as close as possible. So, yeah, we'll move this guy in here, and we'll move this HQs here. So, we'll get him to be like that, so that next turn we can actually pick which units we are attaching to. Although it's pretty clear these three will be the... Uh, rating of 7, too, is just... It's really fantastic. Okay, let's also go down here, and because I don't know where the where they are, I'm going to move one at a time. But it looks like we're going to be able to... Okay, so the 
probably have somebody in Kato Amara. I really, 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 really want another unit to get into here. And I don't know where that unit would come from. I guess I could send them from England. They're currently needed there. But, I mean, not from England, from Egypt. They're currently needed there, but I just need somebody to defend against Basra. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping that an event would happen, because what I saw is when I was playing as the Central Powers, I saw two Egyptian or two British units in here. So, yeah, we're we're gonna have really, really, really low supply taking these unit or taking these towns as well. So probably after I take them, I, I should probably move back. He probably has to have somebody who's responding to Baghdad. No, wait, I think he has a core in Kut al Amara. So us moving in and taking this might have been a little bit over aggressive. Um, we, if we get attacked or anything, we'll move back to Kurna next turn and we'll park ourselves there. Yeah, but I, I think that hopefully we get more than what we have. And it might not be a bad time, 133, to start transporting this guy out. This could be the unit, for example, that we move all the way around to support. By the way, we can North Atlantic, Persian Gulf. Persian, Persian Gulf. Okay, so we can move from here to here. That's good to know. Um, that's probably what we will want to do. Uh, now, he left us the uh, Mediterranean. He did not act here, so we do have an opportunity to attack his destroyers, stuff like that. So let's, let's think about how to do this. The problem is that there is a submarine somewhere lurking in these waters. I think what I'm going to do is try to maximize my detection of that of said submarine. Okay, so it's safe, at least, to move this way. Um, there it is, enemy contact. So he's at, this guy's at supply zero, so it doesn't really matter what we do to him. Except for it does matter when we want to use our carrier. No effect. Well, that is a bummer. Well, let's go with our submarine here. Still no luck. It's probably because our readiness is very bad. Um, that is the last unit, though. This is the last unit of the... Well, yeah, I guess we're going to get the kill. Okay, good. Um, we'll leave the Dreadnought in port for now. Well, I plan to use this Dreadnought eventually, but before we do that... I guess we'll go and attack it. It should... It can't dive away, so I, yeah, I don't even know what it does. Okay, so this transport should be okay. Moving two away means that he won't see us. We're gonna do it. Fly, my friend, fly! <laughs> I hope that you're safe. Godspeed. Um, we don't want to be counterattacked, so we do have this one as well. So that is probably the first unit who will attack here. Good, we got two. And I do want to keep moving up because I want to make sure that there's no other units. And there is. Oh my lord. Wow, that went poorly. Okay, so now we know what we're up against. Smart of them to lead like they did. I think what I'm going to do is just take out their destroyer and then move on. Ouch, it was supposed to be an 03 and it went 1-2. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to move, like, that way. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't guess that I'm doing exactly that. Okay, we can at least finish this one off. And 
he's stuck there. Which is not good. I don't think they'll be able to kill him outright, but look, we're going to have to invest points in healing somebody. 93, 68, good lord. Well, the French, can the French afford it? The French might be able to afford to, uh, you know, fix the, the dreadnoughts. Now, I don't know... Yeah, we're, we're going to have to move this dreadnought back. So, we can move it... No, we don't even want to move it forward because it just... It might get unlucky enough to be caught. Okay, let's move this battleship over here. Let's move this... Dreadnought in. And let's... Move this one into port as well. Okay, good. Now, I feel a little bit safer about that. We do want... I think what we'll do is we'll move this like this, so that hopefully when he comes forward, he'll find my submarine first, and we'll have a chance to counterattack. Hopefully that'll sap away his opportunity to attack my armored cruiser. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. In fact, I, I think I'm going to do something a little bit stranger. I'm going to put it here, so hopefully if any reinforcements come, they will be the ones to find it, the submarine. Yeah, do that. And we probably won't be able to afford anything for the British, but we'll be able to afford some stuff for the French. So this is interesting. I mean, the French, we can get... Ah, that guy can't be repaired this turn. That's right. We have to wait a turn for those. We would have really benefited from having a destroyer somewhere along the lines here. I guess having a Dreadnought at 8 is going to have to be sufficient. That was only the first vessel, I think, that we've lost in the Mediterranean. I, okay, I really don't remember. We, we might have already lost a light cruiser or something like that, but... Okay, it could have been worse is what I'm trying to say. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. And I think we still will transport this. It's definitely not needed where it is. So I will just immediately do that. And I think I am going to move it the full length. It's a little bit crazy, but I'm just banking on the fact that it's not going to be caught. And this is the fastest way to get it to where we want it to be. So we're just going to go with it. Um, 107... So we want to probably transport this guy as well. Now, can we get it higher than 7? We can get it to 8 only. Well, 7, in my opinion, is just as good as 8. Um, they're both maximum morale, and this morale is holy crap low. Jeez. That is low. And we got to watch out for the Russians. Yeah, the French are doing great. All right, so let's move up. Let's see, anything else? Any other ships? We have this side of things to do. I don't think there's much to do in this side. Um, chase down. We just have to chase down submarines. So I... Hold on, I have to go back and watch the video and make sure that... Did any submarines try to pass? This is now also a picket line. Well, lo and behold, if you watch it just slow enough, you find the, the submarine was moving beyond this destroyer. So I will seek it over here. Excuse me, um, what range would it have had? God, I feel like it wouldn't have even had this range. I think we missed it. Alright, so let's have this guy finish where that guy left off. It's impossible. He couldn't have gone this far. He must have gone north. Okay, this is a little bit risky because this guy... There he is. Let's do the attack anyways. Oh, thank God we can get back to him. Okay. So we're just trying to right now take him out to zero supply. This guy dove from attack. Now he's done. But we do want to find out where he went. Okay, got him. Okay, so now um, who do we want? This is supply of two, this is supply of one. We have found them both, which is good news. I think we'll go and attack this one. Oop, no success. Amazing. I think in red mode they're just hard to hit. Okay. Now we just need to position 
in a manner which something like this. I think I'll move him like this so that we're in a little bit better position to go after this guy. Likewise. Okay, well, that's that's that. Um, we have two weak, very weak units here. I think I am just going to let... Uh, okay, I'm going to put this guy into port and let him just repair like up to three, maybe. You know what? Probably the same with this guy. Just get him up to like three, and then we can uh, feel a little bit confident moving him in. Gonna leave the dreadnoughts here, not not repairing them. So we have some very weakened navy, but that's still something which is available just in case the Germans try to run the blockade. I mean, with the at the very least, this will detect submarines moving, which is still something useful. Um, I still want to know where the heck can I go here with my. Can I get into the Baltic? I mean, a, a submarine, French submarine with only a, a five is not that great. I feel like we should still kind of poke around and see what's here. Nothing yet. Okay, good. So we'll leave them here just so we know what's going on. We should have full vision. I guess if we were here, we would have full vision of what's going on. We'll correct that next turn. Uh, oh, we do have the, we do have the means. This guy's morale is down to 3%, so let's go after this guy. Oh, are, are you not, you're not, um, I don't think you're in the correct mode. Okay. All right, I went in, I made him purple. I still can't do it, no. Okay, we'll back him on up. We'll get him next turn, I guess. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. I should, probably would have done that when he was two weight. Nah, I don't think we would have got him. In fact, that means that next time I have to know just to go for the one that's, you know, the whole one in the hand is worth two in the bush. None of these other units are really good and be effective at attacking the submarines, so we'll just leave it as is. Um, okay, so we're done here. We'll probably do some repairs on light cruisers down to two. Maybe I'll get them up to four as a baseline. I don't think there's any way they could take four damage unless it's a, a real ship. A submarine, I don't... I could, I could see a submarine doing two or maybe if we got really unlucky, three. All right, let me pause and get to the western front. Okay, so it's pretty clear to me what we need to do. We have two units which are um, surrounded on multiple sides, and those are the two that we need to attack if we're going to attack anything. We got one guy here. Two, one, good. I was expecting this to go better. Okay, that was something, I guess. Uh, and then we also want to do the same thing up here. One to two. Okay, one to three. And I don't want to use, I really don't want to use this guy right away. I think I will take this five and just let him go one to one with him. Oh, well, okay, that's fantastic. We'll move him back. He'll be another unit who desperately needs to be <laughs> reinforced. Um, we'll take the two move in until this detachment gets an effective attack. I'm just going to keep swapping people around. Cavalry move in. Okay. I don't know if we actually need to move that guy back. I should have un undid that. So now I think this guy can attack. Good. He can move in and entrench. Okay, so we'll do just an entrenchment like that, hoping that this line doesn't fall. That's good. So that was actually very successful. I think we will move this unit forward now. He's going to be needed in the fight soon enough. This is... Can I see the border... Okay, there it is. It's it's hard to see in the snow, but the border is right here, right here, right here. So that means this unit, if we can eliminate this unit, this unit will be cut off. So Maastricht is not on our side, but Liege is. Which means if we just eliminate this unit, that one dies for free. It's all stuff that we'll worry about 
on the next turn. But so these guys have all attacked. The only thing we can do now is swap nines in. I mean, an eight and an eight in. I think we'll do the swapping and then we'll just reinforce. We did get one extra hit out of it, which is pfft. obviously you're not, you're hoping for more than that. But I think, so I think I'm gonna, yeah, these guys are not in good shape. And I'll probably just even leave that nine on there. Or I could swap, how, how much would it cost to swap? I think the swap would be too expensive in this case. So let's do the repairs on these guys, <laughs> the repairs. But that's what it is, it's the repairs. And we have a four, which we need to get back up. That's 67. That's actually so expensive, I might consider not doing it. I mean, look, we're supposed to be doing attrition with the Germans. We're trying to save the Russians. So much so that I'm going to do this attack as well. And that was fantastic. Did we actually get something here? Okay, we lost a little bit where we were making it up. Swap these two. Yeah, 1-0. Okay, that's fine. We'll let this guy just entrench. And we'll fix this guy next turn. It was fine. In fact, one of the things I can do is actually do this. Get information. They have one extra unit and one HQ. But they have nothing in Luxembourg. I mean, there's a lot of room here for success, I would say. We just gathered really valuable information. And now I can do a little bit of swapping to get this um, cavalry back out of the front. Okay, so we got good information. We know that they have a very thin line, which means that this turn, this guy will, he'll heal next turn, and that means that we went essentially two for three. So we got, you know, we went slightly better with them. I'll take it. I mean, we still have units that we can push in. Let's get this guy to the front over here since he's a 10 waiting, and I don't think we're gonna need anything. They are not attacking us. At this point, it's us attacking them. Let's do this, maybe heal, okay. We also could do an attack, seven, eight. So this is the weaker unit. But if we attack into the mine, it could have an effect. I think we're just gonna heal this turn. Just making the command decision there. I'll look into healing the rest off camera. I mean, uh, we'll just analyze it off camera. And now really the only thing left is the biggest, most important thing. Oh, wait, we didn't do Serbia yet? I thought we already did. Okay, we have all of the Eastern Front to go. All right, so again with the uh, Serbias, we're actually in great shape with Serbia. 139, kind of building a stockpile of points, which is, you know, surprising. It said it would go 01, which is why I did that. It did not. Liars. But I think what we'll do is swap and then just heal. Kind of the same situation I'm looking into here. This is 19%, this is 7%, so we have to attack that guy. He's just so weak. And this is actually a, an interesting dilemma. Should we, is this our moment to strike? So I, these guys are so weak right now, 2% morale. Just don't understand how they can do anything. In fact, if it wasn't snow, I think we'd be in a really good shape. Damn it. That should not be happening. All right, let's swap back. Yeah, just heal, just heal it out. Um, Cause their morale should be crumbling. They just gave away a big part of their kingdom, their empire. I think we'll just do the heals for now. Look at supply, not good. <laughs> It'll be a five to go here. I don't think it's worth going in there even. I think we're fine holding them and I, I would actually rather move this unit somewhere else on the front. So probably we can do, I think we can move this guy here. I probably shouldn't have done the attack on this guy. I probably should have moved him in and had him attack Serenievo. Okay, but we don't want him to go too far, actually. That's a good point, because um, I think I might even move this guy back here and then move him up. Let's do that. Because this unit had already attacked and we couldn't do anything with him. He's an eight. Uh, we, don't want, we want this guy to still have contact with his HQ. 
because they these are the Montenegrins, those are the Serbians. They they don't play together, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, this is still a question. Do we want to shift this guy up instead, and then bring the detachment in, or we we could just swap them and then heal. Okay, let's swap and just see what we have going on. Yeah, nothing good, so we'll just heal. Okay, fine. We'll just wait. Play, Take it easy for one more turn, see what we can get. We have this unit, which can also... Ooh, I did not see this one. We don't have to worry about it here, but we do need to worry potentially about Bulgaria. So let's move this unit here. This unit can move up. Are you going to be commanded by the Montenegrins? Or are you, who are you commanded by? Besides, quote unquote, Albania. Um, I don't know where to move you. Four, two, I think probably just stay on the roads. Maybe you're controlled by Serbia? I don't know. I, I'm going to move this unit here because I don't know where to move them. I don't expect any attack from the west, obviously, so... Something like that, and then we can move them either down this road if we do want them west, or we can move them north. All right, so that's Serbia. And now the, the big fish. Okay, we'll try to work our way up from the south. Down here, we can move some cavalry forward. and see how far we can go. Um, this is crazy. This is certainly crazy. Five, four, three, two. Is there anybody there? Like, in theory, if there's nobody there, I can. Holy crap, take it. Because I can move this infantry to block. Oh my god. Don't think he'll need he'll be even be needed anymore, but we will leave him here. Those cavalry are insane. That was insane. Holy cow! Should I even check? So this is going to cost me two, which is all my action points. I will not be able to retreat. I will not be able to entrench. No, I don't think that's worth it. We'll stay defensive. Okay, so obviously this cavalry in the middle is a huge weak point, and then we'll have Lemberg completely cut off. So we will do all the attacks. Oh my gosh, a 1-2 against... This cavalry is so weak, by the way, it's just... It's going to make me very sad if we don't take them. Um, okay, so we recovered. Got to stand still. Holy crap, man. Why are we taking so much damage? Okay, let's try this. Holy crap! Oh, man. Holy cow. Zero, one, went one, zero. Okay, well, just... We have to stick to the plan. I'm not going to swap, because it will take us a little bit less. I don't know if this unit will be able to get out of here. Can swap in okay so we're gonna do nope if we do that swap he won't he'll just black out there well we got to do it okay well this was terrible because we are not even able to go in now nonetheless it's what we want <laughs> in that we did surround Lemberg um, okay, um, over here there's another, I mean, the anything which is a line running east-west so that north-south north forces are facing south forces is going to have constant three-on-ones. So three-on-one, three-on-one, three-on-one in theory, you know, continues like this zipper configuration con continues indefinitely until you get something which runs purely southwest, north, sorry, southeast-northwest 
or if it was to run southwest northeast. So in the zipper, there is a the 08. I think we should take advantage of it just to again, their morale is 2%. You just, you can't expect, how can you expect, how do you expect that not to be a victory? And yet we're not really winning convincingly. So I'll just take the free damage basically. I've seen how poor our forces are, are behaving. Um, this one might be the one we can actually take out. Okay, he did flee. Moving in there, um, would just... It would be a disaster, because then we'd be surrounded by four sides. That would be a lot of damage to absorb. I think we're just gonna... I really do want the Russians to invest another point into industrial technology, if at all possible. We're getting close to finishing that one. So we have finished it, by the way, for the British and for the French. We're at level two, which means that we can also invest, probably the French should invest in higher industrial technology. Again, that translates to more points for the Serbians. Although right now, what I might do, um, I haven't, I think I've been, have I shown you this already? Right now we're max for everyone except for, sorry, convo map. Oh, this is shut down, right? So we are not sending anything to Russia. And France is only sending 10%. Well, we can bump this up. In fact, we don't even need to, though, because um, Serbia is doing so well. So what we want to do is take down the 5%, which was only 12 points, but Russia needs it more than Serbia at this point. And we can actually just force that to come from France instead. I think that's okay, because right now Russia is just, we need Russia to be doing well. Now, France does more with points than Russia does, as in one infantry of France, which costs the same as one infantry of Russia, will outperform the Russian core. But uh, Russia's still doing most of the fighting, so we need her to you know, basically have a good unit. Okay, so I wanna swap these two. I wanna do the attack and then double swap. Hi, my, 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 my. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, this guy could do an attack. Let's do it, because I don't think that they would do that to me twice. They did it to me again! I don't know what happened to my luck today. Look at it, I normally have bad luck. I feel like I normally have bad luck, but that was pretty exceptionally bad. A lot of zero ones. These guys are at 4% morale. How are they fighting back? Again, it's this snowstorm, and I did check. The Germans have had good weather the last two turns, and we've had bad weather the last two turns. It does influence a lot. So devs... Developers, pay heed. Now we're gonna do a bit of a, a, a weird swap here. I'm gonna move this unit back, but I'm gonna do this. I think this will work. I'm gonna swap him there, and this guy cannot. Can we undo that? No. I was hoping to move this guy down here and have him entrenched there instead. Um, I don't wanna move this guy directly in there because he's only a six. We might have to though. This seven should be healed. Uh, how much points do we have? 200 now. Yeah, these are critical things though. That guy can't, nobody can get in there. Probably need to move this guy back one over here. Um, this Gumminen unit is probably gonna be sent. I think I just wanna make sure I have enough points for it, but I'm gonna send him most likely to, let's just make sure he can get there to the Caucasus. I'd like it to be a mountain forest just for, you know, good form, but yeah, that is probably the last unit we'll need to ship over there too, because we're going to have one detachment bought and, sh you know, placed there to be able to hold Erevan, and then I think we'll have enough forces, especially with this several, seven general, to hold. So we're doing some damage, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so what else do we need to do? Let me just think. I think I'm going to swap these two. And then heal him here so he's a little bit further away. 45. What else do we need to do for Russia? I think this is important. That guy's holding the line in a critical corner. Um, we're down to 167. Are we going to be able to get, to get this re research? I, I don't think so. Um, let's get this guy just healed up to seven, maybe. So let me do the points calculation after 
But one point would be what? 22? 11? I forget what it is. Oh. Yeah, 11. 11. We can... That's 156. So we'll have like... 32 points to spare. 31 points to spare. That's not a lot. Oh my god. This guy needs it so badly. Well, we can give him whatever is left over, I suppose. Is there anybody else on the front? Yeah, this guy's going to get one point, and I think everybody else is just going to have to suffer. Oh, boy. Well, this would also be a good unit to reinforce, because we can get him up to town pretty easily. I don't know. This unit is another good one. Another good candidate for being shipped out somewhere else, now that the line here has become pretty stale. Although it is nice to have one reserve unit every so often, just in case things get intense. So I think our turn is basically done. We messed up a little bit in the Baltic. Things have gone okay for us in the Atlantic. The Mediterranean, I would say kind of a wash. We did okay, but then we also didn't. We lost, was it an armored cruiser? No, it was a light cruiser. Lost the light cruiser down here, sunk a destroyer. Serbia went well. Western Front went well. And yeah, so let me pause and then um, do reinforcements. Okay, I took this guy up to seven. I am going to do this research. We're going to go for it. I think it's just really important to get us Russia. And then the rest of the points are going to go to this guy, which is pennies, I know, but it's the best. It's, well, it's all I can give. And that means that we won't have enough points left to do to deal with anything here, to move another unit there. We're okay, we're in a good defensive position, so we're, we're fine for another turn. We can invest the remaining points into this guy. Yeah. Um, that means we're down to zero. Okay, and then France, probably more or less the same thing. Um, we have 288, so let's do some healing, because we are in a good place, we are starting to be able to push. 67, first of all, I actually want to prioritize this dreadnought. This dreadnought. 93. I think we'll do it. Um, I want one unit to counter what I know the Ottoman Dreadnought is there. And then... I don't think that those are worth it. So this guy actually needs to... He actually needs to ship back out to the... Yep, we're going to do it. I know that this unit was supposed to cover the port, the mouth, the Strait of Dover. We're going to have this Dreadnought cover the Strait of Dover now instead. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we'll do our attack quite yet. Let's wait for a little bit more points for the British. But then that we will try our naval invasion, which is crazy. But I think you need an HQ to go. Otherwise, it's going to be um, kind of a disaster. Okay, so that's that. And then we need to figure out which of the French units we're going to reinforce. And then we can also tick another point into research. Okay, so 67. If we don't do all of that, so I think we can do the research for the French. We can tick this up. It's only one tenth for the French. Huh, it's cheaper. So that means that we can get this guy to full. So let's do the... Uh, cavalry at nine is actually fine. Let's get this guy up. So we have 18 points. We have any French ships that we want to repair? Not this turn. Okay. Yeah, then let's just do it. Get this cavalry up. Hope I'm not missing something. Okay, that's that. It takes care of everybody but the British. Now the British, what do we want to do? I think I'm just going to heal this unit, this cavalry. We're not going to do any amphibious anything this turn. Um, we want to start healing some ships back up to, let's say, four. 22 costs, that's fine. So four is going to be enough for you to go sit on the line. Speaking of... It's a little bit dangerous, but we'll try this. So we have two on that line now. I know it's a battle cruiser and it's only at three, which is pretty dangerous, but... Oh well. <laughs> I don't have any defense for myself. We're doing it anyway. And it would, like be, it would be definitely nice to get this light cruiser up a little higher. We're at 74. 
Let's go down to Egypt. And I know we wanted to do this transport. You know what? I think I will heal him up to 8. It's really minor, but I think 8 is still better before we pit him over here. Because I don't think he'll be able to even heal over here. 8 is probably the max he'll be ever. Um, and that still leaves us with 71. So we can heal this battle cruiser if we want. And I think they're a lot cheaper. 68, we actually can do this. And that would put us in a good position in the Mediterranean. Is that really what we want to do? Because we could also be healing like the Belgian units. This would be 67. It would be everything. This would be 68. It would also be everything. Let's do it. Just to give us some, you know, renewed presence in the Mediterranean. And uh, the Russians, no, the Serbians still have 82. This is why we don't need to give them as much. Because even, <laughs> even as is, they're fine. Okay, we'll heal that guy. And uh, that's going to conclude this turn. The Americans are one turn away from being able to increase their industrial, relation, industrial technology. But uh, for now, this is a very long episode. Sorry about that. So, oh yeah, we need to, I'll pause and we'll do the end. Almost forgot. We got a new destroyer. Let's put that one up here. We got a new light carrier. Put that one. Do we want to heal that one? Might want to heal it. Put this light cruiser. I think this is going to be the one that replaces our three. Can we put it here? Let's move it here. Yes. Perfect. Um, oh, hey. Okay. Can he go anywhere else? Just have to verify. We'll eventually know that if the answer is always no, but for now, I need to check. And that's our HQ for the frickin' naval invasion. Oh my gosh, it's brilliant. A submarine. Now the submarines, we don't know if we need that. I might send this off into the Mediterranean submarine. Okay. There is only one thing that we could really disrupt. Um, I think we're going to do this. I'm going to send him off into the Mediterranean. And we'll get this guy to just land here for now. Okay, so now we can end turn. Okay, let's see what happens. Stuff's going on and... Oh, we developed anti-submarine warfare, yes! And nothing else. Okay, 192... 300, that's good. 66, that's plenty for them. France is contributing a lot. Russia collected only 190. Ugh. And uh, USA collected enough that you know, next turn they'll be able to do the upgrade. Why did Russia collect so little? Because the UK is not supplying them. <sighs> we really got to change that. And that is it, my friends. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care and viva l'entente.